Hello guys, in today's video, we will learn about glass chemistry. Before that, let's have a look at the history of glass. Ever wondered where or who created glass? Well, according to the history, the glass may have developed during lightning event which hit the desert sand, and even meteorite impact which had caused the sand to be in molten state at high temperature and turn into glass. However, most reliable history suggests that the first discovery of glass was when volcanic eruption occurred. During the volcano eruption, sand melts and then molten mass cools down, thus glassy rock known as obsidians were formed. As such, during early Stone Age known as Neolithic period, mankind used sharp edges of these obsidian glasses. Egyptians are also very well known for their ancient glass objects, which were created as tools and accessories. Glass main component is the sand, known as silica or chemically named silicon dioxide. Nowadays, there are many types of glass and they are known as mixture of two or more types of metallic silicates. Before we learn about types of glasses available, let's have a look at the common characteristic of glass. Glasses are transparent and hard material. However, they are brittle. Most importantly, glasses are non-porous, which means glasses are not permeable to liquid or gas. Glasses are able to withstand high compressions. Furthermore, glasses are inert to chemicals. Another important characteristic of glasses are that they are poor heat conductors and are good electrical insulators. Don't forget, glasses can be recycled too. There are many types of glasses produced by the industries. One of the most expensive glasses known is the fused silicate glass. Telescope lenses, spectrometer lenses and ultraviolet columns are some of the examples of these type of glasses. The main composition in fused silicate glass is silicon dioxide. These type of glass have very high melting point and this makes it difficult to be molded into different shapes. These glasses are also heat and chemical resistant. It is also transparent to ultraviolet rays. Moving on, the second type of glass is the most common glass that can be seen in our daily lives, which is the soda lime glass. These types of glass are used to make bottles, mirror, windows, bulbs, containers and jars. The main compositions are silicon dioxide, sodium silicate and calcium silicate. It has low melting point which makes it easier to be molded into different shapes. However, it is not resistant to heat and chemicals and this makes it cheaper. The third type of glass is a higher grade of glass known as borosilicate glass. These glasses are mainly used to make glassware apparatus in the laboratory such as beakers, flasks and test tubes. Its main composition is silicon dioxide and boron oxide. Borosilicate glasses have high melting point and it doesn't break easily. As such, it is known for its heat resistant property whereby it exerts little expansion and contraction with temperature changes. Not only it has chemical resistant properties, it is also transparent to light and infrared rays. However, it is not transparent to UV rays. Finally, let's have a look at lead glass, which is mainly used in decorative items such as chandelier lights, crystals, prism and beautiful drinking glasses. The main composition of lead glass are silicon dioxide and lead oxide. These glasses have high density. In addition, they have high refractive index which gives it glittering and sparkling effect. Revolution in glass technology has made mankind to successfully build 
iconic buildings using glasses as main material. The largest art museum in the world, the Louvre Museum, was built in Paris, France in the year 1793. The tallest glass building ever seen is known as the Burj Khalifa in Dubai, which was completed in 2010. Another iconic glass building in Asia is Flower Dome in the Gardens by the Bay in Singapore, which is known as the largest glass greenhouse in the world. I hope you have learned in interesting facts about glass today. That's all for now, and don't forget to recycle your glasses. Thanks for watching, guys.